told you're also a follower of horse betting, so much so that many UK bookies now refuse to take your money. But what are your usual stakes? Well, I think that needs to be qualified, that remark. It is true that I have had accounts which I have operated closed in the past at the request of the bookmaker in the light of the results. But uh, bookmakers really are fair-weather friends often enough, and uh, if you lose money to them, and I've lost a great deal of money to three firms in particular uh, this last few years, uh, I can assure you they're very happy to keep the <laughs> accounts open. I went, uh, since this is a family broadcast, I won't tell you how much I've lost, but believe you me, it's a lot. Why do you love horses? I don't love horses. Why do you love the, the thrill of betting on horses? Well, it's the... Uh, it's the adrenaline rush, isn't it? That's why people gamble. And I have the additional uh, incentive, if, you, if I can put it that way, uh, which is that having formed an opinion, however foolishly, I like to bet that I'm right. But, I mean, there are all sorts of other fools who've uh, taken that view in life, and there's nothing new about that. <laughs> What about gambling and share tipping as one and the same? Well, of course they're the same. Uh, they are forming a view and betting on it. There's no difference. Right. I don't know why, I mean, Snelly, a lot of people think investment is different from betting on horses. And my view is that such a view is insane. There is no distinction between the two. A horse race might be over in two minutes, uh, but and a share to come to fruition might take ten years. But the idea is the same, to profit by one's judgment. What are the essential skills uh, required for succeeding as a, in either field really? <laughs> well, I must have good information. That you must have. With horse racing, it's absolutely vital one has good information. As I think I just told you, in recent years I haven't had it. <laughs> but uh, on the matter of shares, of course, there is the problem of law, uh, which came to, I wouldn't say fruition, it came to a, a halt as regards development with the Criminal Justice Act of 1994. Uh, I myself think the law is fundamentally flawed in that uh, it seems to me entirely legitimate for companies to uh, brief the market as to how things are going, uh, whereas the law, as understood in practice, is that there's uh, a duty to the public as a whole. Well, I think that's a foolish and uneconomic idea, but I can tell you it's very much in the ascendancy and if you ignore it, you can get yourself into a lot of trouble. Mm.